We gather not only as individuals, but as a community bound by shared history and an unwavering commitment to justice, equality, and equity. Our ancestors, those who walked through fire, endured unimaginable hardships and faced the cruel reality of systemic oppression, and they did not just simply survive. They fought with steadfast determination for, the, for a better future. They fought not just for themselves, but for us, for generations yet to come. Yes, yes. We are beneficiaries of their resilience, their sacrifices, and their courage. Their battle scars have become the foundations upon which we build our lives today. As we step into the opportunities that were hard fought and won, we must remember that their struggles were not a solitary endeavor. It was a collective effort that extended beyond time and place. The question we must ask ourselves is not whether we have an obligation to our ancestors, but how we fulfill that obligation in a meaningful and impactful way. We owe it to the 21st Africans arriving in the new Virginia colony. Antoni. Isabel, William, Angela, Anthony, Francis, Margaret, Anthony, John, Edward, Anthony, and others whose names are not yet known. Despite enduring centuries of systemic oppression, discrimination, and inequality, black individuals have continuously found the strength to overcome, to persevere, and to forge a path forward. Imagine the courage it took for those who were denied their basic human rights to still dream of a better life. Visualize the determination of those who fought for freedom, even when the odds seemed unsurmountable. The resilience that has been handed down through generations is not just quality but a legacy, a legacy of standing up against injustice, of never losing sight of the ultimate goal, and end up pushing the boundaries of what is possible and deserved. And then even then, emerging stronger, wiser, and yes, everybody, unbreakable. Yeah. Our journey has never been a smooth path. It has been marked by obstacles, prejudice, and systemic barriers that sought to hold us back. But what history has shown time and time again is that when the world tries to suppress us, we rise, we rise. We rise because we are made of resilience. It is in our DNA. Yes, I'm going to keep saying resilience. We stand here on the shoulders of giants who dared to dream, who fought for justice, and who carved paths for us to follow. We have a blueprint, and we have one that we can expand upon. We are a living testament to the power of holding on to hope and having faith in the face of despair. The challenges may have evolved but the fire that burns within us remains the same. We must remember that our struggles do not define us. It's our response to those struggles that shape our legacy. In a world that often seeks to undermine our worth, our success becomes our greatest defiance. Every achievement, every milestone bears witness to our strength and our courage. When we overcome adversity, we prove not just to the world, but to ourselves that we are limitless. Yeah. Yes, we face obstacles that others may not fully understand, but let me remind you that in the crucible of challenges that diamonds are formed, we are those diamonds forged under, forged under pressure, emerging with brilliance that cannot be ignored. Right. 
Perseverance is not just about moving forward. It's about carrying our community forward. We uplift each other knowing that our success is intertwined. So my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, let us embrace the challenges with the understanding that we are stepping stones to our greatness. Let us march forward, not with the weight of our past, but with the momentum of our potential. Let us remember that every step we take is a step towards rewriting the narrative, towards shattering ceilings, and towards building a legacy that generations to come will proudly carry. As we navigate this journey, let resilience, perseverance, and faith be our anthem, our guiding light. We are not victims. Hey, 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 we are victors. But let us not forget that the journey is far from over. While progress has been made, the struggle for true equality and equity continues. And it is in this ongoing struggle we must make sure that the experiences of the black community continues to shine brightly. The challenges may evolve, but the strength to face them head on remains as unyielding as ever. We must fight now as those who came before us fought then. We stand at the crossroads of history, a pivotal moment where our collective efforts can, shape, can reshape the course of our society. It is a call to action, a summons to address the pressing issues of equity, liberation for those who have historically been marginalized, silenced, and underserved, and yes, and even murdered. Far too long, our world has perpetuated systems that have kept entire communities in the shadows. Discrimination, prejudice, and structural inequalities have denied black folk the opportunity they deserve, eroding the very foundation of justice and fairness. Yeah. To achieve this, we must first recognize the depth of the challenges we face, from the racial injustices to the gender disparities, economic inequality to cultural erasure. The issues are multifaceted and interconnected. We must dismantle the walls that bar access and amplify the voices that have been long silenced. We must recognize that equity is not, is not about giving everyone the same opportunities. It's about acknowledging the historical imbalances and working diligently to level the playing field. Do you hear me, Supreme Court? Do you hear me? Anybody got a hat out there that I can throw up? Because we're getting a call to action. Our call to action is a commitment to educating ourselves and others. It is a pledge to confront not just the biases of others, but our own as well, and to confront the uncomfortable truths, truths that have perpetuated systemic injustices. It's about building bridges, forming alliances across communities, uniting under a shared vision that we are worthy and that we deserve and want better. We are fueled by the knowledge that our actions today will shape the world our children inherit tomorrow. It is a world where equity is not an idealistic notion, but a fundamental right. It is a world where liberation is not a distant dream, but a lived experience for all. To answer this call to action, we must roll up our sleeves and work collectively to implement change and raise our children to do the same. Raise our children to do the same. Vermont and beyond, let's support organizations that champion equity advocate for policy change and promote diversity and inclusion in every sector. Let us foster conversations that challenge norms and lead to change. Let's vote, my people. Let's vote, my people. Let's be active bystanders so we can say, not on our watch. Let's speak 
so that others can be heard, as well as sit sometimes so that all black folk can be seen in all their beauty and different uniquenesses. Each step we take towards one is a step closer to the other. Let us remember that the legacy we leave will be measured not only by our words, but by our actions. The time to act is now. Let us stand shoulder to shoulder, united by our shared humanity and our commitment to building a beloved community. Through the fire has deepened our faith and still within us unwavering optimism and hope. And indeed, these sacrifices have yielded results beyond our wildest dreams, beyond those who arrived more than 400 years ago. The fire of the struggle has propelled us to unimaginable levels of excellence, from political leaders to trailblazing artists, from groundbreaking scientists to innovative entrepreneurs. We have demonstrated time and time again that excellence is our standard, our legacy, our gift to the world. Through the fire, we have forged bonds of unity and solidarity that has transcended, transcended time and distance. So as we reflect on this theme, let us be reminded that the fire has not consumed us. It has ignited our spirits. Let us be inspired by the generations before us who have faced the flames and emerged as a beacon of hope. Let us carry forward their legacy with a renewed commitment to action, to excellence, and to creating a world where we all can flourish. Through the fire, we find our strength. Through the fire, we discover our purpose. Through the fire, we rise. We rise and we rise. Let us continue to rise together illuminating the path towards justice, equity, and a brighter future for all. So amplify their voices, lift up their stories to ensure that Antoni, Isabel, William, Angela, Anthony, Francis, Margaret, Anthony, John, Edward, Anthony, sacrifices are never forgotten. We must be guardians of their dreams, the torchbearers of their aspirations and the embodiment of their hope and faith. We have a responsibility to carry forward that torch of progress that they and others ignited to champion the causes and to dismantle the structures of injustice that persist. Let us use education. Let's use so many platforms and the positions we have acquired to make a difference. Let us champion education so that we and our children know the real facts of who we are and what we have accomplished. Let us champion education. Did I say let's vote? Let's vote. Open the doors. Foster spaces where brilliancy of every individual can shine without the shadow of biases. Let us engage in dialogue that challenges the status quo and promote understanding, understanding, unity, and empathy. Let us engage in activism that transcends borders and ensures that rights will be held dear are not just privileges for a few, but guaranteed for all of us. Our obligations to our ancestors is not a burden. It's an honor. It's a call to continue the journey they embarked upon to pursue the dreams they dare to dream, and to build a world where, equi where equality is not just a distant ideal, but an everyday reality that equals up to equity. In the immortal words of Maya Angelou, I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. Each one of us carries within the, strength, within the strength of countless ancestors who paved the way let us embrace our responsibility with humility and determination, knowing that by doing so, we continue their legacy of resilience and progress. We gather under this banner, this theme, that encapsulates the essence of black experience through the fire. It resonates deeply within black folks' hearts.
around the world as it symbolizes our remarkable ability. Did I say rise? We rise in the face of adversity. So let's celebrate the journey from 1619 to now, a journey that embodies the triumph of human spirit, the power of unity, and the hope for a brighter tomorrow. Let us honor the sacrifices and victories, the struggles and the achievements and let us be inspired to continue this legacy of resilience in our own lives and in our own collective efforts to create a more just, equitable world. And remember, while doing so, the words of Malcolm X. Thank you, black women. Thank you, brown women. Thank you for birthing us. We honor you. I thank you for Dorothy Mayheading. I thank you for Vermel Grand. Thank you for birthing us. This is for the undeniable, this is for the unflappable, the audacious, this is for the limited, the unlimited, this is for the unstoppable, the undiscovered, the unbending, the underdogs, the dreamers, and the doers. This is for you, 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 and me. Let's have a good time, thank you. Now someone come help me off the stage.
Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for having us. We are Jekulu Dance and Drum Theater from Burlington, Vermont. Yeah, Guinea. Here. Yeah. From Guinea, West Africa, and Senegal. Yeah. Let's have more fun. Yeah. How are you doing, bro? Yeah, come down, show that. How are you doing? <laughs>
Wait, I'm going first? Yeah. All right. Uh, my name's Aiden, and what I do here is I showed up at 8.30 to help set up, and uh, I also helped organize because I work with the uh, Racial Justice Alliance at the Richard Kemp Center, so that's what I was doing. Yeah, that's um, my name's Lucy, and I came here around yeah 8.39, and I helped set up, and um, I wanted to be um, a youth, like, helper and leader, so I came to support um, and watch my friends say some speeches about what they do and stuff like that. So what are these tables for? These tables, um, this is the massage station I heard. Um, I was down over there in the home base and I heard that there's a massage station over here. So I came down to look and I saw one of my fellow moms were over here just getting a back massage. But yeah, basically just relax, chill. Stay by the pond, relax, and just, yeah, get a massage. Hello, everyone. I'm Maria. I'm known in the community. And I'm here doing this wonderful event that they're having at the African Landing Day. Um, here, I'm at a station that's focused on wellness. And the best part about it is you come here stiff, you leave here relaxed. So... Being in this environment with the youths, enjoying the knowledge of today is a wonderful thing, and I enjoyed my massage greatly. Just say who you are and what you're doing yeah. today. Ready? My name is Alheni, and I'm here for the event to make these guys ready for school. Looking good. The barbershop. Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? My name is Kevin Cherry. I'm down here at this um, African First Landing Day. Um, I came down here to help organize the, the event, putting tables around, um, making sure everybody's comfortable, giving people rides with our van um, if need be. And we just out here having a good time, eating some good food, Enjoying us a lot of good culture out here, and you know, and keeping it, keeping it up and never down, y'all. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like you're uncurling 
Everybody doing? All right, feeling the vibe, feeling the vibe. It's been a good day, man, huh? Yes, yes it is. I, I'll answer for you, that's fine. All right, so my name's Omega J. This is Marvelous Kevo. We did a song together. It's called Make a Sound. We gonna break this shit down for you, man. Sorry, trigger warning, I cuss sometimes, my bad. I love y'all still. What? It's all right, let's get that. Everybody doing out there? Everybody, okay. all right? You know, we, 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 I mean, I was looking up out the clouds but today. We dodged, we dodged a little bit of rain, but we dodged most of it, it looked like. And, but guess what? This rain, part of my language, this rain wasn't going to stop shit anyway. You heard? We over here to have a good time, positivity. You know, make sure y'all check out some of these um, venues. I just got some nice airing from over in the back. 
a couple of things from over here to make sure y'all checking everything out and you know enjoying yourselves. Well, I thought I was gonna do more, but we can't do that. I love y'all. I'll miss y'all. Get some candles, thoughts and chairs. Give it a shot, okay? Uh huh. I would give it a shot. I do. I do some music. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I was hooked from the first taste. This music is my birthplace. Make best days out of worst days. It quenches my soul when I'm thirsty. Let that kid be him. Cause in this world, all men sin. People are fake and love to pretend. You can't tell if they're phony or genuine. Me free Ghana and I'm in Baja. Harlem world, they dab up. The South Bronx soon after. And that's because my mama need a new chapter. See, we was poor, couldn't come by my house. The bed is full, floor taken, no couch. No rolling like an NBA lockout. Give me a mic and let me See, I've been waiting for a long time to hit this stage, make it all. It's my gift. I let it all shine. I let it all shine. It's my time. Won't be denied. I gotta kill it every single time. So all of y'all, you'll remember mine. You'll remember mine until the end of time. The bottom ain't fair, but we all done did it. Pain ain't right, but we all done lived it. Different intelligence, we all don't get it. Don't let them in your circle if they ain't been vetted. I move at a pace that most find awkward. Doing my thing and why should I stop it? Haters gonna hate, of course they'll knock it. The jealousy and envy is part of their logic. All I want is to just do me. Chase my dreams, be the best I be. Get my soul over legendary beats and make sure forever that the world remembers me. They say time waits, time waits for no man. But I'd rather make them wait while I go ham. No choice but to get with the program. So let's go, man. See, I've been waiting for a long time to hit the stage, make it all mine. It's my gift, let it all shine. Let it all shine. It's my time, won't be denied. I gotta kill it every single time. So all of y'all, you'll remember mine. You'll remember mine until the end of time. My mama ain't raised no fool, believe. Came from the bottom, top flight we achieved. Times got hard, so I fell to my knees. Looked to the heavens to find some reprieve. What I was looking for, I had it within. Redemption I seek in this life full of sin. Met some strangers and left some kin. Hard nights made better, just looking within. So stand up tall, life will call. No, you can make it, no matter the cost. Be your own fan and take the applause. In your caring section is where you'll find love. It's hard enough daily, don't make it harder. No matter where you are, dream that you can go farther. Hold on tight, we about to ride out. This moment is mine, give me a mic. See, I've been waiting for a long time to hit this stage, make it all mine. It's my gift, let it all shine. I let it all shine. It's my time, won't be denied. You see, I gotta kill it every single time. So all of y'all, you'll remember mine. You'll remember mine until the end of time. Some noise for the DJ, man. Ant been holding it down. Uh. Peace, love, and unity. Let's do it, bro. Next song. So yeah, I mean, besides the fact that I teach English at UVM, 
and I coach debate there. I also make music, so you know, let's make some music. When your DJ is also an MC and he hears a beat and he's like, yo, I might need a 16 on that. I love it. Let's do non-living, bro. I was born in Ghana, West Africa. And as a lot of immigrants know, that journey is often difficult and fraught with a lot of challenges. I try to put it in the music, though, you know? Let's chat. To the dark side, somewhere inside my childhood, this my heart died. And even though we all came from the same places, I'm African, so they always made strange faces. Would you believe through the misery we have to laugh? Living life and try to make some memories to last. Honestly, you could come to me if you need me. Nothing else, I got a heart and I can't breathe. True indeed, it's a small thing, but it's true. Real friends stand tall and help you get through. It might seem hard, but I'm living proof. See, I came from the bottom and you can do it too. It don't sound the same when I'm back on the block. Last night hurt, so and so's brother got shot. It don't feel the same, all for the change. Love you, bro. It all ain't the same. Huh. That's love, bro. I appreciate you. The chorus is meant to give me a breather, hell. You know what it is. Music is about my pain, the journey, and the struggle. Let's try verse two. I'm from where the block is hot cause the sun be hot. Speaking to Ghana where we cherish all the things we got. Black stars, black queens are the teams we got. I'm a Julie Wardman, or Cindy Viva. Uh, let's paint a picture for the ones can't see. I took a trip many miles across the land and sea. Then touched down in the city, that's the NYC. Where they major in text, no MIT. But us, we the Africans, moved a little different. Started with the checks and the peace star hitting. It changed some fortune and how they living. And we still took miles to church. It was forgiven. And yeah, 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 they too hot. Moved us to a new block, appalled. I seen them, they hit them with the ooh I'm nice, so they waiting on my new drop. I'm killing them with rhythm and melody like a doo -wop. You know, when I'm up here, it's kind of like if you like to go to the gym or if there's a hobby you love, this is what that is for me. It's just like. 
y'all man y'all energy is dope hey i appreciate you shout out to the shop our henny from the shop giving out those cuts make sure y'all go see them if you need a cut i got one more for you i appreciate you i don't know where i put i got you do it um i wrote this song during the times when covid had just become a thing. So. We were all losing a lot of people and it felt like we needed something to pick each other up with. This one is for everybody we lost. I pray the rain fall down and you don't see me cry. Uh, a band called Death, shout out. Love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. This is apropos because it's been raining a lot. I feel like this whole summer's been raining, bro. Right? And it was raining today. Okay. Can I talk a little bit? All right. This for those that ain't make it through COVID. The 2020 has been a struggle to stay focused. Fighting tears when I wrote this. Y'all love that you missed, and we hope that you know this. Some were mothers, brothers, and aunties. God's law, Ja Rule, no Ashanti. We grind till we six feet. Hustle and bustle, we tussle. There's no rest for the weary. The Lord is my shepherd, protector. But I can't take the pastor's lecture. Any hate on my name is conjecture. We love on your block, I'm spinning selector. More fire when I'm in 
the booth, sneaking neck in the truth, then size to the colors like a Rubik's Cube. I was raised with some ethics involved. I'm from Ghana, it's freedom and justice for all. Huh? Yes, sir. I wrote this rhyme on the very last page of my book. I'm from a place where the streets stay infested with crooks. Plenty kings who stay protected by rooks. So I spit to give the silence the voice and those without a face a look. I paint the phoniness, they all transform and see the flow is egregious, but yet they're still pompous. Any competition, best plan gon' conquer. We've been plotting since KRS, drop the sophomores and shocked us. I leave it up to churches, teach belief. Here's a message to those touching it, teach your leaf. We've been Believe in the street, and now we back. DJ, yeah, I got that heat. Uh, every time when I'm back with the pimp in them, you see how your boy got the rhythm in them. S I N B A N. Tell them all that I'm coming next time for the friend. Uh, be, be, be oh, shy. Oh, I just want to make sure that while we're all here enjoying each other's time and enjoying the festivities, that you do make sure you sign up over there so you get the announcements, you get all of the notifications from the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance and stay in tune with what we have going on in the community. Obviously, check out all the amazing tents. Some are there for support if you need it, and there are some vendors who are out here selling some things as well. So check everybody out. I think, I think that, I think that, is that, is that it? Hi, my name is Ada. I am a teacher at Queen City Yoga and Fitness, and I am here today representing Queen City because we know at Queen City that the world does not treat us all equally, that there are structural barriers embedded into society that prevents people from being treated with the same dignity and respect that they deserve, and I'm super happy to be here um, today. And yeah, and I'm happy to be bringing yoga here today because we know that every single time we're on our mats, we can access the dignity and the respect that sometimes the world neglects to give us based on our identity. And yeah. Okay, so who did you work with? I work, who did I work with? Yeah. Um, my, quite honestly, my manager was in contact with um, the people who organized this event, so uh, Queen City was in contact with Isaac, who reached out to us, and then I showed up. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go, I'll go through that. Um, so I uh, worked with some kids today. We did a little yoga. It was a open house event. Anybody could do yoga who wanted to roll on up and. I happen to have a lot of kids with me today on their mat, so that was super awesome to be able to share yoga with a younger generation of people who are figuring out what it feels like to move in their body in space throughout the world. Okay. You want me to, you want me to start? You want to ask questions or you want me just to speak? Because I could just speak. Okay. Yes, blessed everyone. My name is Empress Levi. My born name is Tashawn Williams. And I just want to tell you that positivity, loving, caring, and sharing, and coming together as a community and getting to learn and know each other is a great thing. And this event is a blessed event. And I enjoyed that all the people came out to full joy each other and to full joy my vegan soul food. <laughs> I'm Empress Levi's Vegan Soul Food, and it was a great thing to see people. If you're not a vegan, you can still treat your body to something good. So, everybody came out and full joy themselves, and it's 
a bondsman for slavery, African land, and the first day, I think that this is a great thing that the Richard Kim Center, that Mark Hughes is doing. Mark Hughes and Christine is two beautiful, loving persons, and I'm thanking the most high for using them to bring this together, because Vermont needs this. We need each other. We need to love each other and care for each other. We didn't know that we just humans. Let's just love everybody as a human and come together with respect and love. Caring and sharing is the best thing that we can do. So love everybody and see y'all next year. <laughs> My name is Martha Kemp and I am here as a vendor selling some jewelry that I make by hand. And um, I'm also the daughter, the second daughter of Richard Kemp of the Richard Kemp Center in Burlington. So if you haven't so been there, you should say, really check it out. And, and also I would like to say that um, my brother-in-law and my sister and, uh, were responsible for putting on this, this event the with their landed. staff. And, and, and they did an amazing job this year. I was here last year too. And this is just, it's, it's like 100% um, more so impactful we just do and that. professionally God done. Beautiful. Um, yeah. So. If you didn't make it down there this summer, you gotta remember. I'm sure they have a, a seventh uh, anniversary of First Landing Day. You knock me off my feet away. You knock me off my feet. You're not me off my feet, yeah. You're not me off my feet. Say when you're moving, you're grooving good. And when you're moving, well, you're grooving good. You knock me off my feet away. You knock me off my feet. You knock me. Up my feet away, you knock me off my feet. Say when you're dancing, you're dancing it right. Keep the vibe flowing all through the night. Say when you're skanking, you're skanking it good. Keep the vibe flowing through the whole neighborhood. You knock me. Up my feet away, you knock me off my feet. You knock me off my feet away, you knock me off my feet. Say when you're moving, you're grooving good. And when you're grooving, well, you're moving good. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the music. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. This one uh, is a special song because it's uh, by, written by a band of brothers that I brought here. In 1989 in North Beach at a place called Reggae Fest. And I dedicate this to the late Tabby Diamonds, who passed away this year. I went back there last night along my shore. See your face in every wave that breaks. Memories that stay within my mind When I'm feeling down and blue No way, no how Sweet lady Smile for me once more Sweet lady Smile for me
for me once more Sweet lady Smile for me once more Sweet lady Bow for me once more And now it's peaceful there along my shore Sleep come easy, days are good Cause I am free Sweet lady Smile for me once more 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 And now it's peaceful there along my shore Sleep come easy, days are good Cause I am free Sweet lady Smile for me once more 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 Sweet lady Smile for me once I like you never did before Sweet lady Smile for me once more Sweet lady Smile for me once more Thank you. Now I'm gonna have a little fun here myself here, you know. Um, I've been working on a little acoustic album here that I'm gonna be having uh, coming out in a few months. Uh, so you guys look for it. It's just gonna be called Troubadour Shuffle. And I'd like to give you some, this is a song I've never played before anyone. And um, it's just a, a beautiful song. Um, it's kind of a, a make-up, break-up song, but uh, we hope you like it. It's called Don't Say. Don't say You tell me that you're leaving and that will keep me grieving every day. Don't say, you know I love you better. I know that dreams don't last forever, but we can try. When you feel like the world is closing in, and you need the shoulder of a friend I will be the one to comfort you Please don't say it has to end this way I don't want to live in yesterday We got to take the time right now To save our love alive Don't say it the words I fear to hear most Like the last day of the year toast Here's to our love Don't say I believe that we can make it We never had to try to fake it Any day When you need the shoulder of a friend I'll be just the one to hold you in 
Let me be the one to comfort you The wonder of a love so true and true After all the things that we've been through We have to take the time right now To save our love alive Don't say The words I fear to hear most like the last day of the year toast Here's to our love Don't say I believe that we can make it We never had to try to fake it Any day Don't say Don't say Don't say. Thank you. Now this one is a. Uh, you know, I said to someone early when they asked me what this event meant to me. Um, you know. We in America, who are of the descendants of those ships that came, we really truly are the Israelites of America. Just like in the days of Egypt, you know, and now we're the ones that have to carry the banter and carry the torch. So I want to dedicate this to everyone, all those especially who are descendants and all those who are Israelites. Because this is the, the plight of what most men go through in America. You know, a lot of men will, have been absent from families and uh, for many reasons. But that's because the work has been hard. The toil has been hard. The fairness has been hard. So I want to dedicate this to all. Livicate this to all. Black men everywhere. Wake up in the morning slaving for bread, sir, so that the every mouth can be fed. We Israelites. Wake up in the morning slaving for bread, sir, so that the every mouth can be fed. We Israelites, woman and my kid, they just left me down. They said that they couldn't even see me. We Israelites, trousers and my shirts are torn and all gone. Don't want to bend up like Bonnie and Clyde We Israelites After a storm that must be a fall When I'm in the barn you sound the alarm We Israelites In the morning, sleeping for bread, sir, so that the every mouth can be fed. We Israelites. Wife and my children, they all them are gone. She said, oh, darling, you couldn't even see me. We Israelites. All my trousers are ripped and they're gone. Don't want to end up like Bonnie and Clyde We Israelites After the storm there must be a fog When I'm in the barn you sound the alarm We Israelites Oh, we Israelites Oh 
Israelites. When this race gets hard to run, it means you just can't keep up the pace. And when it's time for you to have your fun, you find a teardrop flow down your face. Then you stop and you think a minute, are you the victim of the system? Any day, they're gonna let you down. Remember that Natty will be there. See you through. And ain't it good to know now? Jock will be waiting there. Ain't it doggone good to know now? Jock will be waiting there. Wait in summer, wait in spring, wait in autumn, winter thing. Tribe goes up and the tribe goes down. Gather my children from the end of the earth. Many times I sit and wonder why this race so very hard to run. Then I say to my soul, take courage for the battle still to be won. Like a ship tossed and driven, driven by the angry sea, yeah. When the waves come rushing over, don't you let them fury fall on me, no. And ain't it good to know now Jock will be waiting there Ain't it doggone good to know now Jock will be waiting there Waiting summer Waiting spring Waiting autumn Winter thing Lost and found, I seek, I give. Lost and found, I seek, I give. Lost and found, lost and found. Yes, brother. Yes. My name is Christina DeMag, and this is my third year with the first African Landing Day here in Burlington, Vermont. And what I love most about this day is how each year we've brought together more people, more awareness of what this day really means, and the community that we've been able to share together with the music, the food, the events, the art, and having everyone come together here. Good? Now I'm going to have a little fun. I'm all relaxed now, you know. Hey, you know. So I want to give you another one. This is like, <laughs> this song is kind of a, I hope you enjoy this. It's a story. It's a story. And it's, uh, it's based on an, uh, something that happened at an old blues club down in Chicago. So I hope you enjoy this. And you'll love the name of the title. This is something that we, you know, we've been saying all of our lives. Don't start no mess. Don't start no mess and it won't be none. You remember that one? Don't start no mess and it won't be none. How many of y'all can relate to that? All right. Don't start no mess and it won't be none. If you don't start no mess, then it won't be none. If you don't start no mess, then it won't be none. 
listen now. A guy's coming through the door and he's carrying a gun. I said a guy's coming through the door and he's carrying a gun. Now listen. I see his bum. I see his. <laughs> I'm laughing at this myself. I see his woman on the dance floor dancing with another mother's son. Uh oh. I don't start no mess and it won't be none. If you don't start no mess, then it won't be none. If you don't start no mess, then it won't be none. Her name was Lucy, and she sure was fine. She liked to drink red wine and have a good time. Uh, but a man, his name was Bean, and everybody knew he was mean. Uh, with a jealous streak for her uh, that was long, long, long and lean. Don't start no mess, and it won't be none. If you don't start no mess, then it won't be none. If you don't start no mess, then it won't be none. Oh, Bean hit the floor after drinking some Jack. Grab Lucy's arm and pull the back. Her dance partner got in the way. Bean's fist impacted his face. The dance partner threw a punch back. And old Bean reached for his sack. The crowd and the band hit the deck. As Bean shot the man in the neck. Uh, it was something everybody saw. Now old Bean's running from the law. You done started some mess. And now it's gonna be some. You done started some mess. Now it's gonna be some. If you don't start no mess, then it won't be none. The cops caught Bean at the state line ramp. Sent the bloodhounds in, cornered him in the swamp. Now Bean's doing 20 to life, and Lucy will never be his wife. As for Lucy, she lives on, having fun on the same dance floor. You don't start no mess, and it won't be none. Don't start no mess. And it won't be none If you don't start no mess Then it won't be none Say it one more time Don't start no mess And it won't be none If you don't start no mess Then it won't be none If you don't start no mess Then it won't be none No You guys have a wonderful afternoon God bless you See you again Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to bring, bring me back, I'll do one more. <laughs> if you want to skank a little, you can skank a little. Because it's one of Bob Marley's favorite. So, my name is Ishmael Ahmed. Um, I'm here because I come out of the diaspora. My uh, father was an ovum and a woman who was once a slave. Somehow I ended up in Vermont and to have the ability to gather with other folks that came from that experience in, um, in community is incredible. So I do my best to help when and where I can and how I can and it's good to be here. We are closing um, out our activities today with a commemoration. There are those behind the stage right now who are speaking. I'd like for you to stop. So at the beginning of where we started today, I asked for your undivided attention. There are people out at the cars right now who are talking. I would ask you kindly to stop right now. There are folks who are out in the parking lot right now. I'd ask you to come back in for a minute because this is the commemoration. So if you could kindly come back in if you don't mind. This is the commemoration, and we're closing out all activities for today. I know we've all had a good time, but I'm asking that we would just all come together for just these last few minutes. 
as we, um, as we start the commemoration. If you choose to stay in the parking lot, that's fine, but I'm inviting you in, please, if you could come in. And for those who are in the back, if you want to just come up for a minute. Because what, what we're doing, what we've come to do, is so very important. It's so very important. Uh, not just for, for us as black folks, um, but also for all folks. So I, I want you um, just to just give me just a few minutes of your time. Gentlemen, if y'all could just give me just a few minutes of your time. It's not often that we all just come together on one accord because we're so concerned that we might offend one another. And some of us are so sensitive that we take offense to the interruption in our lives. But it's okay for us every now and then just to stop, just for a minute. I still hear voices. If we could just stop for a minute. We started here at about 11 o'clock this morning, the first African landing day. But first African landing day was in this place last year. The last Saturday, the fourth Saturday of August, because that is our holiday. You, the fourth Saturday of August is first African landing day in Vermont. The year before last, we were here. The fourth Saturday of August, it was first African landing day in 2022, 2021. And in 2020, it was first African landing day here as well. And in fact, in 2019, it was first African landing day in Vermont on the fourth Thursday of the month. As proclaimed by your governor and as established by the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance. So today, although we Reflect upon and celebrate a march on Washington that happened 60 years ago today. Don't applaud. Although we respect that and we celebrate it, we have something much more local that applies to you and you. That is your day here in this place that we have established. What does it mean? We know that this is the intersection of the 1619 Project and the 400-year African American History Commission. What this is about is this is about a story that was written of a ship called White Lion that landed at Point Comfort, which is modern-day Hampton, Virginia, and from that ship, 20 and odd or so Negroes, end of quote, got off of that boat and immediately they were traded for stuff in 1619. But that's not how the story ends. And the reason why I'm telling you this story, and this is our commemoration, is because for those of us who come from traditional families, we've learned that we teach our children. And we pass stories down from generation to generation. And I may be the only book that you've ever read on this story. But I encourage you to read the book on this story. Because this story will tell us, Chewy, this story is going to tell us that these folks we're irrigationists and agriculturalists. These folks, these, these so-called alleged folks who were embound in slave, they were also blacksmiths and professionals 
And what I'm trying to get at is, is the story that has never been told is the power and the contribution and the resilience of African Americans here in this nation because it would be from generation to generation, from decade to decade, and from century to century that people who look like you folks over here, Christina, folks who look like you, Keo, folks who look like you who are out here sought to not just encounter and endeavor and survive slavery, but to build a nation and to establish every institution in this place and to lay the foundation of the very culture of the fabric of who we are as a nation. You black folks are a powerful people. That is the story of this commemoration. And as we as black folks, as we stand united and, and recognizing the profound impact of our struggles throughout history, our journey has been marked by unyielding determination, courage, and unbreakable spirit. That has propelled us forward. We honor those who came before us, who endured. They endured the horrors of slavery, yes. Segregation, okay. Systemic racism, yeah. They bore the weight of oppression on their shoulders. Yet, they never succumbed to despair. Never. And as we conclude today, our ancestors, with their unwavering faith and resilience, they paved the way of our progress. They fought for our freedom, risking everything to forge a path to liberation. Their sacrifices, their blood and their tears watered the seeds of change that continue to grow within us today. Their struggles were not in vain. They fortified our spirit and they ignited a fire within us that refuses to be extinguished. Now you can clap for yourself. We carry their legacy with us, knowing that our strength flows through our veins. Their resilience courses through our hearts, reminding us that we too have the power to overcome any obstacle that's in our path. From generation to generation, the torch of hope has been passed down, lighting the way for us to march forward, Bobby. And our youth, the vibrant and resilient souls who carry the promise of a brighter tomorrow, they embody the strength and potential of our community. They bear witness to our history, and their shoulders are touched by the struggles we have faced, but they, they do not falter. Instead, they stand tall, fueled with, by the fire that burns within them. They are the architects of our future, the ones who will continue to fight. They will continue the fight for justice and equality. So we look, we look to the horizon. We look to the horizon with hope, understanding that our struggles, our struggles have not weakened us, but they have served to strengthen our resolve. We rise above adversity, armed with an unwavering belief in our worth, in our ability to create change. The fire that has consumed us has refined us, shaping us into a force to be reckoned with. Together, we navigate through the fire, guided by the wisdom of those who have come before us and inspired by the potential of those who will follow us. We are not alone in this journey. We are a collective force, bound together by the threads of shared history and the hope of a better future. Through the fire, we emerge as warriors, fighting for justice, equality, and a world in which we're not just here to survive, but we are here to thrive in. 
in our pursuit of a brighter tomorrow, we stand unwavering and undeterred. We march forward with the conviction that the moral arc of the universe, it does bend toward justice. And it is our duty to shape that arc with our unwavering determination. Our struggles have and will continue to strengthen us, fortifying our spirit, and driving us towards a future where equality and opportunity abound. Through the fire, through the fire, through the fire, I'm reminded of the Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they were bound and they were thrown into a fiery furnace that was so hot that it consumed their captors. I am reminded of a time when a king then, Nebuchadnezzar, looked into this furnace and he did not see three Hebrew boys bound and laying in the furnace, but he saw four in that furnace and they were unbound and they were walking around and one of them looked like he was the son of the Most High God. Through the fire means we do not stop in the fire. Through the fire means we are not stuck in the heat. We may be purged. We may be refined. We may be purified. But at the end of the day, we are not getting stuck in the fire, y'all. We are going through the fire. We are a testament to the power of the resilience the beauty of unity and the boundless strength that resides within each and every one of us. Our story is one of triumph over adversity. And as we forge ahead, we carry with us the knowledge that our journey is not just for us. It's not just for us, but it is for the liberation of everybody. Thank you for coming out today. We have had a blast this year. I want to thank especially the Lord God himself. I want to give a shout out to my precious and lovely wife, Christine, who's somewhere in the house because without her, I'm nothing. I said without her, I'm nothing. I want, to I want to give a shout out to the full staff of the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance and our community partners and friends who sat with us tirelessly and painstakingly to put this program together. If I'm talking about you, just wave a hand. Just wave at somebody. You better wave. Just wave at somebody. And I want to thank the Intervale folks who, who've hosted this, who, who, who's, they, they provided this, facili uh, this facility gratis for the last four years. So they, they have been very good to us. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Thank you, my DJ, special, special shout out to Antoinette, my MC, who's also a rapper in the house, Sin. There's not, there's not enough words I can say about Bobby Hackney, who's right here in front of me. I was blowing my mind. Bobby Hackney is right, come on. Bobby, Bobby Hackney's right here, okay? So please don't leave, I'm gonna talk to you before you go. And, uh, and, and the Hackney family, uh, just, the, just the whole crew, all of y'all, all of y'all, we love you. We love you. 77, 1977, come on. Uh, the Kemp House was up in here. Anybody affiliated with the House of Kemp, raise your hand. There, some of them have gone, um, but I know Martha was here. Um, uh, I know that uh, Kathleen was here. Benjamin uh, Winston's here, my wife. Uh, the Kemp House has been here since 73. So there's a lot of old black folk up in here. Uh, Bobby, I know you're going to wave back with Christine, right? Right? And Keith. And Keith, too. I'm going to say his name loud. I'm going to say his name loud. Keith, too. We love him. We love him. Yeah, we love him. So, uh, so again, this has, been, this has been great. It's been amazing. Uh, and I think the thing that I want, want you to take with you with Through the Fire is, is that there's a lot of learning. There's a lot of learning that we have the opportunity to do over this next uh, year as we become you know, more and more adept in understanding our true history. Uh, also, at the same time, there's an overlap of quantitative and empirical data that explains to us uh, the essence of systemic racism. Because when you take the true history and you put data with it, then you don't have critical race theories anymore. How many people believe that? 
I said when you take the data and you add the real history with it, you don't have critical race theory anymore. You know what you have? Systemic racism, a legacy of slavery. That's what we're here for, right? To eradicate it. So you'll see some of the work that we're doing. We're late in getting stuff up for September because we're so busy getting this together. But you'll see a lot of the stuff. I want to give a special shout out to the Richard Kemp Center, which we've created as a result of this work in the community. Richard Kemp! Oh, my God, don't get me started. The, um, the 1619, um, I'm going to tell you a story about Richard one of these days, not today. Uh, the 1619 traveling exhibit. Um, everybody say hi to Robin Lloyd. Hi. Robin Lloyd is in the house right here, one of the biggest activists in our community, my white sister, right here in the front with this cane. I'm not playing with you. This is Robin Lloyd, okay? Yes. Talk about activism. She'll hit somebody with that thing. Okay? Uh, I love you, Robin. It's good to see you. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the 1619 Traveling exe uh, Exhibit. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Uh, it is in the Richard Kemp Center right now. What does that mean? It's the fifth time that it came here. Where did it come from? I'm glad you asked. Point Comfort? I know that. It came from the same place where the White Lion landed in 1619. It's the, it is the Hampton Museum there in Hampton, Virginia. That is where the, the traveling exhibit comes from, the 1619 exhibit. It is in the Richard Kemp Center right now. So we closed, but we're gonna open it. It'll be open back up. You might wanna stop in like um, on Monday. I'll put some hours out on some social media. We'll have that for maybe another two weeks. This is the fifth time that we've had this traveling exhibit here, okay? In, in the, the, um, this, and take this with you, the challenging thing about that is, is you didn't know. Think about it. You didn't know. The vast majority of people who are here, we've had that thing here five years, and for some odd reason, we can't, we can't seem to break through the noise to get you to know that the traveling exhibit for 1619 is here. I wonder why. I wonder why. You know, if it wasn't for some people, if, if they'd still be waiting for word in Galveston. That went right by some of y'all. If it wasn't for some people, uh, we'd still be talking about slaves. We'd still be talking about how we was, you know, oppressed and this slavery story is just a story of oppression. But no, there's a 1619 story. And it supersedes the 1776 story. And I don't apologize for that. But you wouldn't know if you weren't paying attention. Again, this is settled at the academy. What I'm telling you in terms of what this is all about, what 1619 is all about, youth, they're not teaching you this in school. Um, Christina, you, you've been with us for six, seven weeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she said, yeah. Uh, they're not teaching our youth this in school. But we don't have to fight with the school for the rest of all eternity because we can teach our children at home. Can't we? I'm not saying we don't fight with the schools. I'm on a tangent, but let me go. What I'm saying is, is, it is it is not solely the school's responsibility to teach your children. We can teach our children at home. We can teach them at the Richard Kemp Center. We can teach them right here. We are teaching them right now. So as we tell these stories, as we move on into this next year, let's get better about that. Let's get better about coming together. And when somebody say eradicating systemic racism, show up. Don't just, don't just show up for the party or the good time or the electric slide, but, but show up when we're doing the work. Show up when we're doing the works. I want to encourage everybody, and I don't, I don't want you to leave here discouraged. I want you to leave on a good note, but you get to decide what note you leave on. Greet somebody as you leave. Talk to somebody that you don't know. Say hi to somebody. Lift up somebody as you leave today. Um, we've got to come together. Unity is the message today. We can... Some people are going to feel uncomfortable about the work that we're doing. Some people are not going to know how to do this. We need to come together. We need to each one teach one. 
I'm so glad that everybody came out. Thank you so much for so much time that you've just given me. You just made a huge investment right now. Thank you for stopping what you were doing. Thank you for listening to me. God bless you all. Let's get into the next year.